Good morning. Welcome back to Cleaning is My Therapy. My name is Jamie and I'm just going to say I'm sorry this video is late going up. I went to go upload it and lost the video so I'm having to re-edit. So I am trying to get it done so I can get it uploaded but um, so the insurance adjuster came out. They are going to fix our roof and the water damage and get rid of the trees. Well, I'm waiting on a roofing company to come out and another tree company because the last tree company quoted me $4,200 just to get the tree off the fence and remove the roots, which the tree is up by the roots and everything. And, um, and But we also had him quote us in the front yard to get rid of those three trees um, out front. And he was going to charge us $3,500 to remove all three of those trees out front. And it just don't seem right, $4,200, to, just to remove the tree off of our fence. And he's leaving a lot of the trees in the neighbor's yards. So I just don't feel like that's right. So I am still getting quotes um, before I make my decision. And, um, but it seems like the, the guy that's about to come out today, um, seems a lot cheaper. So, but as soon as they come out and we can get the trees off the fence, we can start getting the fence work done. And I can't wait because the dogs can't go out unless they're on a leash. Okay. So this is the tree that went down and it took out this whole part of our fence and we're still waiting on the insurance adjuster to give us a call but yeah and like this is so deep it's just roots and all that came up and then we're gonna go into the garden and this is the one in the garden it took out our fence and the neighbor's fence right behind us and it took one of my garden boxes garden beds um, but this area is super deep so we're going to once we get this removed we're going to dig up this area right here and turn it into the duck pond we're gonna build this out a little bit and a uh, way to where we can walk but um, we're either going to turn this one into the duck pond or that over there. Extend it out, the garden fence, out a little bit and turn that into the duck pond. But, yeah, this is all of our damage outside. And also, it destroyed our roof. So, tomatoes, pretty much done for. Um, the corn... At this point, we're just going to see what we get from the garden this year. Um, but the way. Yeah, let's get over here. So, we've got some water damage right there. You know, let's see if I can get it. And then also this beam right here. We have got water damage up on it. And then there was water leaking down this wall. So we took these off while it was leaking. But, um, um, let's see. And we have some damage right here around our light fixture. Like all around it. Um, this was just dripping water. And it was so bad. And then we also have a cracked window from the tree branch I mean as you can see part of the tree is still right there so I am going in with gain power wash to scrub out the kids sink because there was some dried toothpaste in the bottom and also y'all the screen on my camera went out so I am going to have some really bad angles um, I am going to try to continue to film um, I did finish this video out with no screen and 
Um, the angles are kind of rough. Sorry. Um, but I'm going to try to continue to post videos, but probably not because as it sit with everything that is going on right now, I don't have the money right now to replace my camera. So just bear with me. I am literally doing the best I can, you guys. But like I said, I will continue to try to film videos. And if I so happen to get good angles, I will upload those videos. But if I don't, I won't upload them. Um, and hopefully, eventually here pretty soon, I can get a new camera or get it fixed. Um, I'm actually trying to get a hold of a couple of camera shops and see how much it was going to cost to get just get the screen fixed. If it's close as, as much as the thing costs, then I might as well just buy a brand new one. But I don't know. We will see. But I'm just going to finish scrubbing out the sink and get this floor vacuumed and mopped which y'all don't see me vacuuming it because Valkyrie is obsessed with the vacuum and it's just hard so I have to lock her out and get it quickly vacuumed but I was able to get it mopped on camera and this humidity oh my gosh it is getting my hair so bad it is starting to be a frizzy mess and kind of curling up a little bit um, I have natural curly hair, but I don't ever mess with it. I just straighten my hair all the time. Um, occasionally, you guys will catch me on camera with curly hair because those are on the days like I'll just get up and wash my hair and just let it air dry because I don't want to deal with it. Um, but on rainy days, I don't mess with my hair. I just spray it down with water and go curly. But I don't, I hate the curly hair. Um, I guess because I really never knew how to take care of it. Because growing up, my dad had curly hair. He shaved his head bald. My mom has straight hair. And you guys, in the 80s, there was no YouTube. And there was no um, all that stuff on the internet. It just wasn't there in the 80s. So my mom didn't know how to take care of my curly hair. And, um... And even after that, for years, I never really knew how to take care of it. So, but now I do because I was watching videos and y'all, that is a lot. I'm just going to continue straightening that shit and throwing it up in a bun on days or just do what I've always done in the past. Just wash my hair and scrunch it up and just go curly and not worry about the curl creams and styling it, that takes way too long. And I am not a high maintenance girly at all. I am minimal on the makeup, um, always have been, and I just, I'm not high maintenance at all. Although my husband wish I was more high maintenance. <laughs> To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just Get to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town 
the kitchen just looked so bad, but it really wasn't even that bad. It was just the big old crock pot and just some of the bigger items on the counter. Because like I said in the last video, our, when I posted that video, our power literally just came back on. So, and we didn't have power for like a week and, and a half or so. Like our power had been going in and out for like a week and a half. So we would only have power for like a few hours and then another storm rolled in and took out the power. So, and it's just hard to clean when there ain't no power because it's just, it gets entirely too hot in here. But, um, just getting everything put back up and getting the ice maker and fridge plugged back into the wall and, um, getting everything just put back in its place and right here was not a bad angle I think when I get a new camera this is probably gonna be the angle I do all the time because it wasn't a bad angle I mean it needed to go back a little bit more but the screen was black so I couldn't really see what I was doing and like I said earlier, I'm still going to try to post videos, um, but next week, there's not going to be a video. Um, I've just been so busy, and I wanted to film a lot of it, but with my screen being black and not working, I cannot film because I cannot see where I am getting the camera angled, but we do have um some tree guys coming out Friday Thursday or Friday to get these trees removed off of the fence and they're going to grind up the roots and once that is done we can call the roofer and he's going to come and fix the roof and he's also got some guys that's going to fix our fence put up a new one to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for
But I am going to try to film what I can. Um, but like I said, the screen is broke on my camera, so I can't really get good angles. If I can possibly get a good angle and it turns out, I will work on trying to film a video. But next week, for sure, next week, there will be no video, you guys. Um, we've just had, I've had so much going on. I have had roofing companies in and out of the house. Um, I've had tree companies in and out for the past week. Um, and we finally found a tree company we want to go with and a roofing company. So, um, we've just been really busy and Friday, the tree company is coming out to remove these trees. Thank God. I am so ready to have my fence fixed because I cannot take the dogs out. I can't let them out. Um, because the fence down the girls, I can, I let them out without a leash all the time, but I just, I have to be out there. And of course I've got treats to keep them. So if they go wandering over there to the open part of the fence, I can lure them back with snacks. Um, but Thor on the other hand, like he has eyeballed that opening and he has tried to bolt. Um, he is a runner. So, but he will not use the bathroom on a leash. This dog has not pooped in three days. Like, it doesn't matter how much me and my husband walk him around the yard. Cannot get this dog to use the bathroom at all. Um, cause he don't want to use the bathroom on a leash. And it's been like this for, oh my God, a week now, two weeks, a week. It has been awful. I am over it. I am ready to have it fixed so I can just let these dogs out because... I don't want to sit out there with them all day because I've got so much to do in the house. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys next week. Actually, no, I will not talk to you guys next week. I am sorry. Um, I'm going to try y'all. I'm really going to try to get a video up. I'm trying to get a new camera, but with everything that's going on, it's just not been in the budget. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.